on the road on our Walmart to Walmart tours, we don't get much entertainment. But when we do, we're watching Trucker Josh. You should too. Flatbed Trucking, Sam Rides. Tell them all about it, Sam. Tell them, they're on your road. Tell them, tell them, Sam. Tell them how it is. <laughs> Great city of Atlanta. We're trying to sneak through here. Midday, it's about quarter to 2 p.m. Eastern time here, local time. We have a new trailer behind us with some new stuff in it. And somebody in Canada wants that stuff. They're paying big bucks for it. So we're gonna bring it there. Oh, someone's getting a spanking over on the right. Uh-oh. We should be in Ontario uh, tomorrow, and I'll be delivering the day after tomorrow. Ontario's not actually that far from the southern U.S., a lot closer than where I live in Manitoba. Give these fine people some space to get on the freeway. Yeah, it's a beautiful day down here in Georgia, and we're excited to be moving. Welcome to Tennessee. That's what the sign said anyway. Welcome. Very friendly people. Thanks for the sign. I feel welcomed. What do we, we got a... We got a split. Okay, usually when we're going home, we go left. We're not going home, so we're going right. I-24 splits off to the left here, takes us up to Chattanooga. So I-24 splits off to the left here. And this driver just realized now that he wants to go right, even though there's been signs for like 15 miles. He's holding up traffic behind me now trying to pay attention, guys. But yeah, the I-24 West is what I would take if I was going home to Manitoba. Goes to Chattanooga. We are taking I-75 North. On I-75 North. I-75 North. Through Knoxville, because we're going up to Ontario. So this is where the fork in the road is. And none of you pop out in front of me here. None of you pop out. Stay in your lane. I've already got Swift right beside me here making me nervous. Stay. Continue on this road for 134 kilometers. Alright, here we go. Looks like Swift is staying in his lane. Got my eye on you, bud. Stay there. Dangerous driving beside that, that truck. There we go. Okay. Construction, construction. Wonderful. More construction. Just what I was hoping for. I had my fingers crossed, hoping. Please let there be lots of construction today. It's my favorite.
this is Lexington, Kentucky. Ding, 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 ding. We're gonna head on I-75 North. We're staying on 75 North towards Georgetown, Cincinnati. It's a beautiful time of day. I'm surprised by how few bugs are here. Keep to the right on I-75 North. Like they have no bugs. There's a few that got on my windshield here, but nothing compared to what we have up in Canada. Why do we get all the bugs? I'd love to share some with you guys. Like, no wonder you guys are always so confused. No wonder you're always so confused at why I have so many bugs in my windshield all the time. That's just how many there are. Like, there's none here at all. None. But I like it. It's great. I got about another hour left on my clock. I don't want to go that far. I'm going to uh, start looking now for a place to pull in for the night. Time is about 9.30, so hopefully we can still find some parking somewhere close by here. It's been quite the day. It's just flown by. We're not driving a full day today. I'm running out of my 70 a little bit, so I gotta be careful that uh, I don't run too hard. I can get in trouble if I work overtime. Why is this guy doing 45 in a 70 mile an hour zone? Dude! I know, I know, and then my truck's not there for me. I, I hit the gas, it shifts up, and then bogs me down, of course. Dude, what are you doing? Hey, 45 miles an hour in a 70 zone. Oh, he's on his phone. <laughs> uh, texting on his phone. Okay, well, that makes sense. Professional driver right there. He knows what he's doing. He can do two things at once. That makes him a professional. That's how it works, right? <laughs> oh, I gotta start thinking about where I'm gonna stop. Diesel? Diesel, you and this whipper of a tail that you got right here, the audience is demanding more of you. More of all of this. All of that, and lots of that tail wagging. Lots of that. Yes, everybody says more diesel or they're gonna leave. I don't want them to leave. I want them to keep watching the videos. Say something. Say something clever. Um, uh, hi, guys. That's not clever. Um, um, is that a dog? Is that a dog? <laughs> don't mess with me, man. Don't mess with my emotions. Put me on your spot and then you tease me about other dogs. You really got another dog, man? Is he over there? You think he wants to be friends? You asked for it and I delivered. More weasel. Hey guys. Uh, how did I do? Uh, not much of a, not much of a vlogger myself, but uh, hey, I'm usually more of a sort of kind of an extra. I'm a more of a background kind of guy. Uh, I hear I have been requested though. This is how I look when I'm relaxed. Very good, Diesel. Very good. <laughs> Always relax. So I've just done laundry here. Uh, this is actually from a different day that I'm finishing this because I'm just editing this and putting this together now and uh, wrapping it all up for you. <laughs> so thanks for uh, watching today. It's been a really fun trip. Uh, since we've got back on Van Division, I've been a lot happier with uh, uh, the work I've been doing. It's been more fulfilling, it feels like, and it's it's been better for me. I do miss home a lot though. I'm, I'm gone a little bit longer now than I was when I was on decks. And as much as I love being in the truck and I love getting back in the truck after being at home, it doesn't take long and I'm missing home again, so. When you're out on the road and you, you miss your family, you don't mean you miss your wife, you miss your husband. That's that's a perfectly normal feeling. I struggle with that a lot. Maybe I'll do a whole video one day sort of diving into, what, what would I say, the emotions of trucking with Trucker Josh? I'm not 
I don't like talking about emotions much, so maybe, <laughs> maybe we won't. Maybe we will. I don't know. But uh, it might be beneficial to some people who are thinking of getting into the industry, thinking of getting into the truck, just so that you guys know what the uh, the tax is emotionally. It's, it's not easy for me. Uh, and I'm a guy who loves this job. I love it. I l There's nothing else in this world I'd rather do. But being away from home isn't easy for anybody. So uh, I won't go too much further into this. Maybe we'll do a separate video one day. But uh, I, miss, I, I do miss home a lot when I'm on the road. A lot. And it's... It's tough. Especially when I got a beautiful wife waiting for me at home and... You know... I miss her a lot. But you gotta do what you gotta do. It's so hard to balance, right? Because I, I love my job, I love trucking. I also love my wife. <laughs> but you can't have the things we have at home without going to work. So you have to go to work. You have to work for what you have. You want a good life, you want to have a home, you want to have a little bit of a property, you want to have a bit of a retirement when, when you're at that point one day, you gotta work. It's just part of life. You gotta provide. Anyways, enough with all that. Thanks for watching today, everybody, and I'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget to tune in and subscribe.